Okay, down here on the river, it's finally gone down. It's been flooded for almost a month. Uh, we're here for video number three. If you haven't watched video numbers one and two, it's really important to see what I'm up to. I'm trying to figure out what is best for my regional gold, which is minus 50 and smaller, minus 70, minus 100, and the different types of setups uh, that I can try to maximize my recoveries. In one and two, I found that using anything more than 4,000 uh, gallons an hour simply blew all my gold out my sluice and running pitch of more than two and a half inches per linear foot also blew out all my gold so if you can see my I did another test uh, just right here you can see how much material I'm moving in a day about that much there's the big tailing piles there and I'm gonna do this spot here today I'm gonna run half the day through uh, gold hog mat and half the day through uh, the blue Nomad Miner's Moss. I've made some changes before I had uh, expanded metal that was three quarters of an inch up to about here and then the rest was Hungarian riffles for the last part and I was taking home quite a bit of sand and so I've changed today and I built this brand new tray which is uh, half inch expanded metal. It's uh, pretty nice and it fits in there really good. The other change I'm going to make today here is underneath my Nomad mat I'm putting uh, a small capture mat, just a basic rubber mat with very shallow ribs to catch uh, as much sand as I, as I can to minimize blowout. I also won't be running the sluice any more than an inch to an inch and a half per foot as uh, I've determined that that just doesn't work. The other thing that I have going is I got a slick plate in here now you can see it works really well so the materials falling out of here it's stratifying gold heavy gold is dropping and uh, I also have this nice knot to smooth out my laminar flow. That's uh, two and a half inch pump and then we have a nice uh, grizzly and spray bar system happening here that I'm gonna run. So the first test is gonna be over the hog mat because I've been waiting for this expanded metal tray and it's only been made last night. Paint's still a little bit wet this morning. I'm gonna put it in here and that will be our first test. And right now the score is uh, Miner's Moss is winning and the summer season is upon us. So this will be my final test today before I choose a capture system for the summer season. So I'm gonna install everything and fire it up. Okay, I've just kind of locked everything down here, so look at all that half inch over top of the hog mat. This is starting to follow more of a pop and sun style type setup where I have really uh, slow slope water that's probably only, you know, uh, three quarters of an inch. Uh, to an inch above my my tray, you know really nice uh, Leveling of the flow good stratification So it's really gonna boil down to what's the best capture system for my regional gold and why I'm running slower Is it simply the hog mats just didn't work when I was blasting on it and uh, had tons of pitch uh, They might work better for people that have bigger gold, but when it's so flower gold is all you got it uh, does make a big difference so I should mention that that big hole right there is uh, a dig test that I did with the miner's moss over top of uh, the rubber mat with my old tray with no slope and slow water because I really want to see is it the tray do the Hungarians benefit me do uh, does a three-quarter inch work better for me you know what is the the best tray now that I've figured out my water flow and uh, my subsequent pitch. So it'll be a combination of tray, what's the best mat. So my test is pretty straight up. It's pretty much two equal portions of river bank from a very similar active plasher area. And there it is. So one spot for the hog mat, one spot for the nomad mat, one sluice, long day, beautiful out here. Well, let's get digging. Active spray bars falling through. It's really nice to shovel into, very consistent, and uh, here's the end of the sluice, so it's not a lot of water. If I get right down here, you can see it's not very deep at all, so let's have a look back here where it's dumping all that turbulent water, right? 
So it's very turbulent and look at the air bubbles and the turbulence coming off the uh, slick plate there. As soon as I put my little mat down, it almost stops all of it. And look how nice and flat everything is. So if this mat doesn't work today, well, I don't know. But for the rest of you, I really encourage you to put a nice big dampening mat. It makes a huge difference. One thing that I noticed is that when I was peeling off the material here, uh, it is flowing back underneath it quite a bit. I don't know if that's from the drop off or whatnot. There it is. See if I can. Alright, I thought I'd try a little one hand dig here just to show you how it's coming off there real nice. I just put it in here. So it comes right off. I can let it sit for a little bit longer, give it a good wash on the ground. Okay, so I shut it down, and what I do notice is that it's much better at slower water than before. I actually have some buildup in here, whereas before I cleaned uh, these parts right out. So hopefully, there's gold that's been captured. I can tell by testing this new mat, this you know Hungarian riffle I welded in at the end. I'll probably have to saw it out. There's just uh, some material stacking up here that I don't like. I'd rather have it go out. Although I could deem it as a stop for anything that has made it this far. And down here, I can see I, I cleaned some of the material out of my, uh, from below my uh, slick plate. Seems to be uh, going under it a little bit, but that's okay. So I'm going to pull this mat out now and wash it out. And I just uh, dug a little bit here. haven't dug much, but that rock, there's my marker. I'm just going to keep going here. So I'm a little bit happier. All right, I took my tray off. I think I can live with taking home this. It does look a lot better. I just hope uh, that they haven't all filled up with material and uh, anything that's fine is just floating on down. I guess we'll find out during the cleanups. It is looking better though from videos one and two, so these changes have worked. Okay, I've replaced everything, done my clean out, it's looking good, gonna dig some more. I think I should note that I could run steeper slope and more water to get more active exchange to clear some of this stuff out, but I just think uh, that my other test proved otherwise, so off we go again. Okay, here's the excavation for the hog mat. And I got this nice big spot here reserved for the Nomad. Been pretty good digging so far. Moved a lot of material. I've got some good colors in the pan, and uh, this is looking good too. I'm happy with everything today. Now I'm gonna switch it up to this setup right here. I notice is with the half inch expanded with no Hungarians, a lot less bigger rocks, which is lightening up the load a lot already. I like it. The same consistency of small rocks on top as the hog mat, so that bodes excellent for my test results, because I can really determine which matting is actually capturing. So and here's just a quick shot of the peeled back mat and everything that's getting captured there on the bottom of that small plastic mat. So we're going to wash out and keep going. Okay, so I finished my other piece and I had pretty good success. So here's the two, two pails. They're pretty equal. This one here is where the moss mats were and a little bit more but not much certainly less than having my hungarians in there i'm quite pleased with everything nice piece of petrified wood and pretty equal dig out so i'm going to go and clean it up and see what i got okay so this is what came out of that bigger pile that i had moved the day before with the other tray so let's see what comes out of the uh, half inch next I'm reprocing that other batch because I know I missed quite a bit uh, through my auto feeder here and recovery sluice. I won't be showing this again. You can see my other video for how I'm doing it. And uh, that's just how much I was missing. 
So I added it to my existing jar and I only got 0.16 which is a pretty poor showing so I'm very hopeful that the difference in trays makes a difference. I've done my media separation through a minus 20 screen. I have 22 pounds of miner's moss material and 12 pounds of hog mat material. And the material that I screened out, uh, it's a little bit more from the hog mat than from the moss. I shoveled a little bit longer at the hog mat location, but not much. So hopefully there's more dense material inside uh, that bucket of concentrates and I can just attribute this to uh, what was being recovered from the expanded metal uh, tray. Okay, so I cleaned up the hog mat concentrates and here they are and there's really not very much. I'm pretty disappointed and uh, as I finish wrapping up the miner's moss cons down my cleanup sluice and I'm putting them in there and the hog mat I think is going to lose this round while well, I got a few minutes left and just watch this. It's just active exchanging the flood gold out of the sluice uh, far too fast. It seems to really work best when it's going extremely slow for the flood gold. My regional gold is very small. And uh, passive capture system just seems to be working a little bit better. I definitely am hopeful to see some improvements with the half inch of expanded metal. And we'll see on the cleanup here. The miner's moss has still got quite a bit to go and it's really doing quite well. You can see there, I'm just going to put it in there before I run it down the miller table afterwards. Simply think that too much active exchange at any rate, little or, or lots, is just not working uh, for the hog mats. And, and this flood gold is simply too small, it just fits it back out straight into the sluice. Looks like a passive exchange is, seems to be performing much better in this regional gold environment. and. I might have to make a switch. We'll see what happens once I finalize uh, the cleanup, but it's doing quite well already. All right, just going to zero up my scale here. Let's see how much it weighs. And that's what I added from the Gold Hog Dig 0 0.08. Miner's Moss Con's about to go down the Miller table. And there's the moss gold. So I'll wait for it to dry now. And the moss weight. It's uh, double. To cap off video number three here, it looks like I'm going to have to transition to the half inch expanded with miner's moss as the active exchange just causes too much of that float gold to go back out into the flow and out the end of the sluice. I'm going to try slower water once again and see what happens. I'm also going to take the cons that I have left in video number four and just go down to my local pond here and play around with uh, some flow rates to see if I can get the hog mat to perform any better, but uh, I think it's better for individuals with, with bigger gold. And my total seasonal weight.